Um, sorry, my camera shut off for some reason. Anyway, I got the movement back in the clock. I believe that the uh, line would go to the left of the roller. Actually, it's going to go to the right of the roller because uh, it needs to be able to put pressure on the roller and it will be putting pressure as it goes up to the uh, uh, to the top of the clock. And so now I got to figure out how to put it in the top of the clock. Got it on one side of the roller. Now I'm going to put it down on the other side of the roller. And with the pressure on the string, I don't know if you can see, but it's putting pressure on this middle roller here that I was trying to figure out whether I need to put it on the left side or the inside of the roller or the outside. And I chose the outside, and this is the reason why. That way it's putting pressure on it. Now I just need to uh, tie my hook on. I got my hook tied on, but I don't want the uh, string to come off that roller uh, while I'm working on it. So um, I got a rubber band connected to my hook. As you can see, I got a rubber band connected to the hook and it's connected to the clock and that way it doesn't come off the top of my roller uh, before I'm able to put the weight on now I have to connect the string to the other side I need to give myself some uh, slack here. Releasing the click. 
and so I can give myself some slack. So now I can go ahead and uh, connect the other side up. After I find my tools. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So, uh, connect my other side here up. And I need to make a hook. Okay, I got the other side attached. I made a hook out of a piece of coat hanger. And I think that'll work. And so now I need to hang the clock up and put the weights on. Uh, it is missing the pendulum leader. But I got another one around here somewhere. I'll have to find. So, uh... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, we'll get another video when I got it, uh, the weights connected. God bless.